you know what? I didn't actually intend on making a video about this, but I had so much fun. So much fun, in fact, that I could say that this was the best experience I've ever had in Japan. So today, this video is about my experience go-karting on the streets of Tokyo. First of all, I was pretty apprehensive about go-karting on the streets of Tokyo. Like, I'd look like that annoying tourist, that annoying non-Japanese person driving a go-kart in Japan. But thanks to some encouragement from my friends, I actually ended up riding the go-karts in Japan. The service that we made use of is called Monkey Kart. Now, Monkey Kart is one of a few service providers offering this service in Tokyo. They do offer a few routes for your go-karting experience. Uh, the specific route that we did was the Shinjuku Harajuku Shibuya Crossing route. There were actually a few challenges with booking this route, well, booking the carts in general, because it's actually quite difficult to get an early reservation for the cart service. So if you're planning on doing this, try and reserve at least a month in advance for your trip in Tokyo. The specific timing that we booked for our adventure here was the 7.30 p.m. one, and I highly recommend this one. The evening skyline of Tokyo is so magical. I can't even, I can't even, begin to describe the, the magic that I felt just driving around Tokyo. Now if you're worried about safety, uh, I don't think you have anything much to worry about because before you even get on the road, there is a very comprehensive safety briefing to ensure that everyone is comfortable, everyone is safe, and everyone is aware of the rules. Also, if you're worried about getting lost, don't worry because there is a specific route that you have to follow and also a specific tour guide that you will be tailing. This guy's name is Hendrik, he was our tour guide for the evening. He was riding this huge bike, but he actually took very good care of us. Made sure that no one got lost, made sure that everyone was safe, and overall it was a great experience having Hendrik as our tour guide. One of the standout moments definitely was the views of Tokyo, seeing the city's landmarks up close from the seat of a go-kart on the streets was surreal and offered a unique experience that you just can't get from walking or having a tour bus or riding the train. Me personally though, my favorite part was crossing the busiest crosswalk in the world, Shibuya Crossing. My advice for you, if you're ever gonna do go-karting in Tokyo, take this route. If you enjoy people taking photos, taking videos of you, hyping things up, it was definitely a vibe. I mean, some people think that the go-karting in Tokyo is very non-Japanese and most people who actually do the go-karting in Tokyo are foreigners. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because the more people that are hyped about going to Tokyo, the more we drive our tourism industry and the more people will just have a great experience. Me personally, I was just hamming it up for people watching, waving and w wiggling my ears at people. On that note about costumes, the service actually provides rental costumes for you to wear. Uh, guess who I was? But there were a lot of different costumes like uh, Pikachu or Naruto or what have you. You have a lot of options there. It was super cold though, so one tip I have for you if you're ever going to do this is to wear something appropriate for the weather and appropriate for the wind speeds that you might be encountering and appropriate for the time of day that you'll be doing this. Overall, I do think that this was a great, great experience. I give it a solid 10 out of 10. Again, it offers a one-of-a-kind perspective of Tokyo. It combines adventure, a sense of thrill, and just a sense of the craziness that is in Tokyo that I don't think you get with any other form of attraction when you're in Tokyo. Now I'm still so hyped up about the experience of go-karting Tokyo. If you have any questions, drop a question down below. I'll try and answer that to the best of my ability, but I'll also have uh, the link to Monkey Kart down in the description. I'm trying to build a community of people who just enjoy Japan in general, so even if you don't have any questions, why don't you drop a comment down below, say hi to everyone, I'll say hi back, and I will see you in our next video.